this is just too much. All this for love, all this for nothing. Like, you can't be mad because she don't want you no more, you know? Devaris Nealon is the 15th shooting victim in just 13 days into the new year. He's also the city's latest homicide victim. Just trying to put everything together, like, you know, we're going to have to piece everything together. A relative tells me that Kaneta Gunn and Antonio McNichols had previously been a couple. They had a few children together, but eventually split up. Ever since the breakup, Gunn's sister says that McNichols was extremely jealous of Gunn's new boyfriend, Devaris Nealon. I don't know, he's just been after him since she started talking to him. He's been after him to do something to him, and I guess today was today. Like, today triggered him off. Gunn says that McNichols pulled the trigger on Nealon this morning. After shooting Nealon, police say McNichols tried taking off with their children, but he was caught just a few blocks away. I didn't really think it was going to happen, but today it actually happened, and I don't know. And just four months ago, Kenitha had walked in here to the courthouse to request a protection order against McNichols. The judge ended up denying her request without stating a reason. I don't know why the judge denied the protection order. I don't know. But, like, I think if he would have had that, if he wouldn't have denied that protection order, this could have been prevented right here today. All this could have been prevented. Now Gunn and her sister are left wondering why. Why was the protection order not granted? And why did this have to end so violently? Clark Young, Fox 42 News.